ESOCheck is a non-invasive five-minute office space procedure to collect cells from a targeted region of the esophagus without the need for endoscopy. The sampled cells can then be analyzed using any commercially available diagnostic test. Begin by preparing the ESOCheck device. Open the product pouch containing the coiled catheter, balloon capsule, and two syringes. Tear away the paper tab and discard. Inspect the contents to ensure they are intact and without damage. To test balloon integrity, attach the 5cc syringe to the lure fitting. With the stopcock open, inflate with 5.6 cc's of air and close the stopcock. Replace the small syringe with the 20cc syringe. Open the stopcock and apply vacuum by pulling the syringe plunger to 10 to 15 cc's. This will deflate and invert the balloon into the capsule. Reclose the stopcock and replace the fully primed 5cc syringe. The device is now properly prepared and ready for administration. Ensure that the plunger of the 20cc syringe is completely depressed to prepare it for pulling vacuum. Place the syringe within easy reach. Confirm with your patient that they have not eaten any solid foods in the last two hours. Begin by having the patient sit in a comfortable, upright seated position. Apply topical anesthetic as desired and allow the necessary amount of time for it to take effect. Hold the catheter five to 10 centimeters back from the capsule and ask the patient to open their mouth. Place the capsule towards the back of the tongue into the posterior oropharynx. Have the patient close their mouth and swallow to initiate transport of the capsule into the esophagus. A sip of water may be necessary. As the patient swallows the capsule, advance the catheter into the patient's mouth to ensure that there is no restriction and the catheter is free to follow along as the patient swallows the capsule into the stomach. To further aid in swallowing the capsule, the patient can sip small amounts of water as needed. Transport of the capsule through the esophagus and into the stomach is accomplished by peristalsis from the swallowing stimulus. Continue to advance the capsule until the 50 centimeter mark on the catheter reaches the teeth. In most patients, this will indicate that the capsule has reached the stomach. Have the patient complete one final swallow and then, using the already attached syringe, inflate the balloon with 5.6 cc's of air. This is the amount contained in the 5cc syringe with the plunger pulled all the way out prior to inflation. To do this, turn the stopcock to the open position and completely depress the plunger of the syringe. Do not use more than this amount of air during inflation. You should feel the pressure of the balloon inflating when you introduce air. Once the balloon is inflated, turn the stopcock to the closed position to maintain balloon inflation and remove the 5cc syringe. Attach the 20cc syringe securely to the lure fitting. Very gently, pull back on the catheter until a slight resistance is felt, indicating that the balloon has reached the LES at the GEJ. At this point, note the distance markings at the teeth, which will serve as the starting point for cell sampling in the esophagus. Continue to gently pull the device in a retrograde direction across the LES and GEJ into and up the esophagus to the desired distance in order to gather the cell sample from the targeted portion of the esophagus. Once the balloon is pulled across the desired targeted sampling distance, as indicated by the catheter markings, discontinue pulling on the catheter. Open the stopcock and apply vacuum to the balloon by pulling the syringe plunger back to 10 to 15 cc's. Close the stopcock to maintain this inverted balloon state to protect the cell sample upon withdrawal. With the cell sample protected, continue to withdraw the catheter in a retrograde direction. The capsule may create some resistance at the upper esophageal sphincter, which may require a gentle pull to extract the capsule. Ask the patient to swallow while simultaneously pulling the capsule across the upper esophageal sphincter. This will relax the upper sphincter and make it easier to extract the capsule. Once the capsule has reached the mouth, have the patient open their mouth and remove the capsule. 
Once removed, hold the capsule securely to avoid contamination. Stabilize the capsule by holding the catheter at its connection to the capsule. Remove the lid from the specimen vial and hold the capsule directly over the container. Open the stopcock. Using either syringe, slowly reinflate the balloon with approximately 1 to 2 cc's of air, just enough air to avert the balloon and return it to the neutral position. Be careful not to inflate the balloon rapidly, as it may dislodge the cell specimen from the balloon. Leave the stopcock in the open position to relieve any pressure in the balloon. Maintain a firm grasp on the catheter at the connection of the capsule with your gloved hands. Without touching the surface of the balloon sample, use sterile surgical scissors to cut the balloon completely off at the base where it connects to the capsule so the entire balloon falls directly into the preservation solution within the vial. Tightly close the lid of the specimen container and vigorously shake the vial to allow the cell specimen to be dislodged from the balloon and placed into suspension. ESOCheck, a novel, non-invasive, five-minute office-based procedure to safely and simply sample cells from the esophagus.